Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this tutorial I want to talk about how to enable Apache Spam Assassin on your account and how to protect your account from unwanted emails. So right now I'm on our main page here at Name Hero, so I'm going to assume that you have an account with us. All accounts at Name Hero come with Apache Spam Assassin 100% free and it's super easy to set up and I'll show you in this video uh, just how quick and easy that is. So if you have an account with us, just hover over account and click on login and you're going to see I'm already logged in here myself. So I'm going to navigate to the website that I want to enable Spam Assassin on. So I'm going to click on my cloud web hosting. And I'm going to go down here to resaletalk.com, this startup package. And then I want to get into cPanel. So whatever website that you want to enable it on, you need to get into your cPanel. So I'm going to click here so I can one single step log on here. And so from inside of here is where we are going to do this. Now, we get pre-sale queries all the time in current customers. They come to us and they say, hey, you know, my account is flooded with email spam. What can I do? Well, this is your first step of defense. Now, we've worked with this Apache Spam Assassin for nearly 20 years now, me personally. And they're, the good thing I like about them is they're open source and they've been around for a long time and they're always adapting, developing, and progressing. Just because they got started back in the early days does not mean that they are no longer updated. So they've done a really good job with that. So you can just start to type in spam if you'd like. And you can see Apache Spam Assassin will come right up. So we're going to click it. Um, and this tells you a little bit about it. It says it's a mail filter that identifies spam. And it's an intelligent email filter that uses a diverse range of tests to identify uh, spam emails. Um, and so there's a couple things you can do to make yours um, be really strict or be really lenient. So the first thing you need to do to enable it though is just click right here. So we just need to click here to enable Apache Spam Assassin. So it just takes a second and once it's done then it's going to be active on your account. Now as soon as you activate it, it's immediately going to begin working. Um, so you can see now we get the green bar, it's enabled. So it's going to get, it's going to begin working, but now there's some configuration we can do to this because of course with any type of um, spam filtering, you want to make sure that legitimate email is getting through and of course the bad stuff is getting blocked. So let's go down here to filters and let's take a look at the score. So this is the higher number, the more conservative it is. So by default it goes to 5. 10 would be extremely strict. 1 would not be that strict at all. So what I like to recommend to people, because I don't know what type of list you're on and I don't know how much spam you're getting, is I recommend starting at 5. See how much spam comes through email. Do you still get a lot or do you not? You know, kind of where are you with it? Um, it's also important to note, well, are you not getting important emails? But then you might need to relax it a little bit more. But you can, act, you can actually configure it even further. So let's just go from there. So I like to say start at 5 and see where it goes. Now, if you want, you can auto-delete the spam. So with our Whois protection privacy um, product that we have called Whois Hero, um, we automatically delete spam because we get millions of spam emails every single day. Now, if you're not getting that many, you may not want to do that, especially early on. Uh, so you make sure you don't delete any unwanted or any wanted emails. Um, so you can see here it's disable auto-delete spam or auto-delete spam. You can select it here. So uh, I'm just going to leave it default right now. Now you can see you can enable a spam box, um, so anything it identifies as spam, it'll actually put it inside of here. Now this is a really bad idea if you get a lot, and it even says it here. It's going to fill. It's going to. It's going to fill up quickly, so you should empty it daily or regularly. Um, so if you if you're really concerned that you might not be getting emails, um, you can enable it, but you want to watch because it will eat up your space really quick. So I don't recommend enabling this unless you're specifically having a problem. Problem. Now, there's also a way to track your email delivery inside a cPanel, which we can talk about in a second. Um, so you can actually see if um, Spam Assassin is, is taking your good emails away. Um, so we can click right here to configure it. And this goes a little bit more into it. So what we can do here is we can actually blacklist um, emails. So if you're getting emails from a specific user or a specific domain, um, then you can add it in here and actually blacklist it all together. So then it's going to be gone. Um, there's a required score that you can, you can put in here. So again, this is five, which is going to tell us that it is spam. Um, but if you want to, um, if you want to assign specific scores, then you can do that here as well. Um, the cool thing is here you can use um, whitelist and, and blacklist, and you can use a wildcard though. So for example, if you know it's one specific domain that, that keeps emailing you, you can go up here to your blacklist and put something like this in. So any email address at, for example, isp.com would be blocked. Um, now, of course, if you have... Um, 
legitimate emails, you want to whitelist them. So like, for example, here, we'd want to do this and you want to whitelist namehero.com. So any email that comes from us here at Name Hero is going to get through. Now, of course, if you have a, an organization, you might want to do something like your organization. Just so you know you're not going to miss these emails because you're whitelisting them. And so that's what I recommend that you do, that you go through and you look at your top five or ten senders and just go ahead and whitelist those domains. You know, you know a lot of people um, are not using Gmail to spam, so you could even go here and you could just go ahead and whitelist the entire Gmail domain. So you can sit there and play with that and... Um, and kind of um, tailor this Apache Spam Assassin, Assassin to work exactly how you would like it. Now, I know I personally, I use this blacklist a lot because I'll find domains that just constantly hammer me, and I'll add them in there as well. Um, but these specific settings are really good to actually tailor the experience um, to actually meet your inbox. Now, there's one way you can view all the email coming in, and this is what I recommend doing so you can see if you're actually missing emails or if you're not. Go back to your main cPanel, and you want to go to track delivery. So I'm just going to type in track, and you can see right here it brings it up. And so this is going to show, I can show successes, show deferred, show failure, show in progress. So this is going to actually track emails that are coming in or being, or being deleted by Spam Assassin. Um, so I recommend doing this so it's going to tell you here um, if an email was blocked by Spam Assassin. So you can actually click this info button and you can actually whitelist um, the domain here because you can see the sender coming in. So that's how I recommend you make sure that Spam Assassin is not too aggressive on your inbox because you can use this to actually whitelist um, the people that are coming in. And, but you can actually look at track delivery to see if legitimate email is getting blocked or if it's not. So I, I definitely recommend kind of watching the screen for the first 24 to 48 hours after you enable spam assassin to make sure your good emails are getting through and the bad stuff's getting blocked let's go back over to here um, but like I said you can just play around with the score I recommend it I recommend a five watch watch the track delivery screen for about 24 48 hours see what happens and then you can go up or down based on that you know if you're getting a lot of stuff blocked go down to a four if you're not if you're getting a lot of spam still go up to six and then you can kind of just tweak it like that and then using the configuration whitelisting and blacklisting you should be able to come with a filtration system that works really nicely on your account uh, me personally, Apache Spam Assassin is all I use. Once you know, any email that's on a cPanel server, this is all that, that I use, and it works very, very well. Very rarely do I get spam emails nowadays. Um, and sometimes, too, if Spam Assassin's not quite sure if it's spam or not, it'll allow the message through, but it'll actually put asterisks on it and call it spam. Um, that way, that it's, it's allowing the email through, but it's kind of notifying you that, hey, this might be spam. So I highly recommend that all of our customers that are using um, email on the server side here, not using a third-party provider such as G Suite, I do recommend that you use Apache Spam Assassin. It's going to keep your email clean. It's going to keep your inbox nice and organized. It's going to help you remove that evildoers that come in that could potentially damage your device or your computers. And especially if you're running email for an organization, you want to make sure you enable this so it's going to um, just kind of ease the limits on everyone else that the spam's coming in. If you have any questions or if you need our team to help you configure Spam Assassin on your account, feel free to reach out to us. Give us a call. Shoot us a live chat or submit a ticket. We'll be more than happy to help you. This feature is 100% free with every single account at Name Hero, even for our resellers. So, those of you that are reselling this, um, they're reselling web hosting through us. You can offer this to your customers completely free of charge. It's, it's open source and free, and that's one of the main benefits to it and how it stayed updated and so powerful over the years. So, again, if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. But um, really, good luck with um, reclaiming your email inbox. I think you'll be quite pleased after you get this enabled and set up. So, again, let us know if you have any troubles.